Hey everybody, uh, welcome back uh, to another Revit session. Okay, so in this um, video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some reference planes. Okay, because if I go into my elevations, um, I can just make out my topo surface here. Okay, but what I can't see are things like setbacks and all that sort of stuff. So I have done this in another video, but we're going to just keep going through this process okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set up some lines based on these boundaries around here so what I need to do is go to my architecture tab I need to go to work planes over here and I'm going to select reference plane okay RP okay so what this is is a line tool Okay, so I can either draw a line or I can uh, pick lines. Um, I'll draw this line for argument's sake. Okay, which is the front uh, setback or the front boundary. So I can click on that, drag that up a little bit. Okay, I can go back to reference plane and I can use the, if I've got a straight line, I can use my pick lines tool. So I'm going to pick that. I'm going to pick that line there, which is a um, another boundary. There is another boundary, and picking that line there, there's another boundary. So I've picked all four sides of of our lot. The other one I want to do is I want to create a reference plane um, that has a setback. Um, you know, it sort of determines the front of the house. Okay, and um, if we were uh, in Australia, what we need to do is we need to calculate the average setback between this house, which is one neighbour, that one there, from there to there, so that distance, which is 4.4. Okay, and this setback here is 8.5. Okay, so if I just do a very quick calculation, if I go 4.4 plus 8.5, enter, divide that by 2 to get my average 6.45 metres. Okay, so that's where the front line is going to go. But what I can do in the first instance is just draw my reference plane there. I'm going to click on that reference plane, and then I've got my temporary dimensions here and um, now I can't remember what what was my thing 4.4 4. 4. 4 plus this is what happens when we do our videos late at night plus 8.5 equals divide by 2 6.45 next time I won't take the um, calculator down. So click on that. I was close anyway. 6450 converting millimeters meters to millimeters. Okay. That's our front setback here. And the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a one meter setback on this side of the house. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my reference plane, run another reference line through here. I'm going to click on it. Zoom in here and there's my the measurement for it and I'm going to take 1000 millimeters. Okay now what's going to happen when we go into our elevations okay this is our east elevation there's that one meter setback one north elevation there's that front setback over here from the south it's over this side and on the west that's over there so what that's done is it helps that's helped me map out you know where the house is going to be placed but these lines just sort of give us a degree of visibility throughout the job until we really get rid of them okay okay so go back to my ground floor plan and um, what we'll do is we'll um, finish here we'll see you later and we'll, we'll do another video to take these reference lines to the uh, the next level or the drawing to the next level so we will see you later